Hey guys, welcome back. Don't mind this huge zit on my face, it's really bad. My mask at work has been breaking me out. I got one there, one there, and there's some other ounce. Oh, oh, there's one right there. Anyways, so I haven't been wearing makeup because of it. And anyways, today we got a video for you. It's the empties, November empties. So, the first thing I have is the Rest Recipe Peach Mask. Uh, this was an okay mask. Uh, it's supposed to clear skin. I used this at the beginning of November, so obviously I haven't used it for this. So it was fine. No big deal. Um, next thing is the Village Natural Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief. I really enjoy these. I keep repurchasing. I will. They're only a buck. Um, I had a couple perfume samples sent to me. I got the Black Opium by YSL. I really like this scent. It smells like coffee. I also like this scent too. It's the Sol Carichiroso 72. I definitely like that scent. Um, the scent notes on the YSL are coffee, white flowers, and vanilla. And the scent notes on this are salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine petals, and vanilla. So I finished those off. The Bath Bombs Unicorn Color. They were all different colors. Uh, I finished off two bubble baths. They were both from Ulta. I got Gumdrop and Peppermint. I also have Sugar Cookie, I think. It's the last one I have. I haven't finished that one off. I uh, finished off a lotion. Scraped it out. This is... Smells good. Um, this is... Sweet berry bunny or sweet bunny berry sugared plum sparkling raspberry and candy petals. So that was cool. I also finished off a fragrance mist, the beach water coconut. This is one of my favorite scents. It's beachy, but it's not super coconutty, but I like coconut anyways. And it started to go bad. I got some yellow stuff. I don't know if you could see yellow stuff in the bottom. It was starting to float around, but I was able to get it all out. And finished it off and it didn't seem to bother the performance I finished off a hand sanitizer in sunshine and lemons I really like this my best friend got this for me and um, this is one of my new favorite hand sanitizers sunshine and lemon I actually finished the spray last month and then I use the antibacterial hand spray in French lavender for this month so there's just a tiny bit in there. Um, I will finish that off. There we go. Let's finish it off now. Oh, only enough for one hand, apparently. Yeah, there's just a little bit more in there, but it's all right. It smells good enough. Finished off a wallflower pug and pumpkin spice latte. This was in my kitchen. You can see there's just a little bit in the bottom. And that's it. I said that was good enough. I don't want to leave it plugged in and have it run out. Burn up the plug. Finished off my deodorant. It's Dove 0% aluminum. I've been using aluminum free deodorant. Deodorant. Deodorant for about six months now. So I enjoy this. It doesn't bother me at work. I don't sweat very often, so it doesn't bother me. Uh, the Sunbum 3-in-1, I went through a couple of these. I really enjoy them. I get samples quite often, but I will not purchase the full size. But I'll definitely use the samples up. Uh, the NYX HD Studio Primer Base. This actually went bad, but I figured I'd used enough of it to count it as empty because it literally was down here. So, I'm counting this as an empty because I used the majority of it. Uh, and then I got the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Lotion. Glare go off from it. Um, I enjoy that. It smells kind of funny. but And then the two things I'm excited for most. I finished off my Seaside Glow that I've been working on. The peel mask all year long. Finally. Took forever. <laughs> Like, literally since January, I've been working on this, and it was new in January. It took me 11 months to finish that. That's ridiculous. 
And then I also dug out most of this and finished this off. And this is another primer, which is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. So I finished two primers, so that's cool. Um, most of this is like from Bath and Body Works, and most of this is bath stuff. So you can tell what I did in November. I literally tried to relax and chill. Um, you know, like, what else are you going to do when COVID's going on? Huh? <laughs> So in total, makeup-wise, I used $27.98. Other products, I used $62.03 and then uh, $90 and a penny overall, which isn't bad. It's a little lower than normal. Normally, I do between $100 and $150, um, but the last couple months, you can tell, have been super, super low. Um, I haven't worn makeup. I haven't, I haven't really done a bunch of anything. Um, I did put my tree up. <laughs> but um yeah it's been really really low so um I've just been pretty much using my Bath and Body Works stuff lotions fragrances a lot of scent therapy to help with the stress of everything that's going on me getting uh, promoted at work a couple months ago um the whole COVID thing uh you know just daily life you know 2020, it is just a bucket of crap, you know. That hasn't been terrible, you know, like t totally terrible for me. Um, I still have been lucky enough to have a job the entire year, so I'm happy about that. I will definitely um, count my blessings there. But that's all I got for you guys for empties. Like I said, it was a smaller month. I think I used like 20 products, 2, 4, 6, 8, 17, not even 20 products. So, um... Hopefully next month will be a little bit better, or this month, because it's December now that I'm filming it. Anyways, we'll kick off the new year running, and um, I will see you again uh, next month for empty. So bye, guys. Have a good Christmas. If I don't see you, then bye.